All right, you guys, so when it comes to Zendrop, there's a lot to talk about. We're gonna go over everything from how to set this up on your store, how to use it, and just everything from the basics to the advanced stuff on Zendrop in this video. So with that being said, right now, I'm in a Shopify dashboard for this test store that I just made for this video. This is basically what the Shopify dashboard looks like as soon as you log in. So make sure you guys go to the link below if you haven't already and start a free Shopify trial so you can get this same screen in front of you as well. There's a link below in the description that says start Shopify for free. Just click that link, sign up, and as soon as you do, you'll see this sitting in front of you. But once you see this screen, have your Zendrop account and your Shopify store pulled up. At this point, you should also log into Zendrop. I didn't mention that before, but I kind of led into that. But I'm just going to say it just to be super clear. Make sure you guys have one tab pulled up with Zendrop, one tab pulled up with Shopify. You don't have to do it this way, but it's just going to make it easier to follow along with the video since that's the way I have it pulled up. If you haven't signed up for Zendrop, link below, say with Shopify, now let's move on. So now that we're here, go back over to the Zendrop tab and say connect a store to Zendrop. As soon as you do that, you're gonna use Shopify. You're gonna say, I already have a store or you can claim your free custom store or you could build your own store. But I'm gonna just say I already have a store because I already do. So, and most of you guys are probably in the same boat. So I already have a store, connect. And then basically click authorize, then proceed to the Shopify app button. Boom, boom, boom. So authorize. Then basically, it's gonna pull us up right here. Then we're gonna go log in to install. Boom, and just like that, we've installed the Zendrop on our Shopify store. We could also just do this directly through the Shopify app store by going literally through the Shopify app store and just downloading Zendrop. I'll show you how that works as well. You could go add apps. You could type in Zendrop, so Shopify app store. We could go ahead and type in Zendrop. Boom. And then you can download the Zendrop app in Shopify right there that way as well. But we did it through Zendrop just because we already had our Zendrop account set up. And if you've been following this video, you already set it up at the beginning of this video as well. So just wanted to stick on that timeline. But with that being said, you guys, now that we have this added, all we're gonna be able to do, all we're gonna be able to do now is literally everything that we just talked about and a lot more. So I'm gonna start by just going to find products. Once you're in the find products section, as you guys can see, you can just search for any product right here. So say we want a blender, right? We can find a blender right here. Boom, blender bottle, all this sort of stuff, right? As you guys can see, I already have some added to this product list, but we could just go right here and click add to my products or go boom, boom on any of these that we want. We could go ahead and remove it from my products if we want to. This isn't gonna add it to our store when we do this. When we click add my products, it's just adding it to our my product section, which we can then go through review and throw the ones that we like on our store and get rid of the ones we don't. So think of this as like your first draft and then the my product section is where you like review, add descriptions, do all that stuff. And then you put it on your Shopify store. So when you click add product, it's not adding directly to your store yet. It's not live. Just kind of look at it as like, hey, I'm adding this to like my save for later list to check, you know, as soon as I'm ready to really start putting stuff on my store. If you do want to put a product on your store, you do have to add to my products first. So we just go through here, see the ones we kind of like. We could even click into them, look into everything about the product. We get a description, we get the cost, we get all the variants that are available. This is important because if there's multiple product listings on here for the same thing, like these two, one of them might have more color options than the other, and that might make you want to go with that one versus the other one, right? And same with shipping times. You guys can see both shipping times when you click in here, and you can kind of compare and see which ones are going to be best for you, right? Average shipping time right here, 10 days, then you can check the other one and see what that would say as well. But another cool thing we could do is we could go ship from USA and we could see all their USA products. So if we go and say ships from USA, this is going to be with fast shipping. As you can see, tons of different USA products. I know this one went insanely viral on TikTok, did really, really well. But there's a bunch of products on this USA section as well, which is pretty cool. And that's gonna be the products that get really fast shipping until obviously you start making sales and you're able to join their select program where you can literally get fast shipping on any product or they're gonna go out there and help you get the fastest shipping possible for whatever product it is you're selling. That's once you start making sales, but before then you could always check out the USA section and see what products are in there that you could possibly get super fast shipping times on because if you have access to that, it allows you to do a lot more with the dropshipping business. You could even apply for TikTok shop if you have that fast of shipping times, which is a crazy opportunity in itself. But with that being said, as we're scrolling down, we could also go ahead and ships from any of these other categories. We could go by any of these categories, any of these suppliers, 
price range, whatever we want. If we wanna make sure it's Zendrop fulfillment, we can just go right there. These are all gonna be fulfilled directly through Zendrop. You're gonna be able to do that thank you card thing with them, all of that. But with that being said, if you don't see a product on here that you're looking for, you could import it from AliExpress. So you could import any product from AliExpress using Zendrop. So don't worry if you can't find the product on here because you can simply go right here or go to this AliExpress import section and you can import any product from Ali by just downloading the Chrome extension. Once you download it, I already have it downloaded. You can just go to AliExpress. You can go on any product on here. So let's just click on this guy. For example, Bo. And then we're gonna pull up our Zendrop extension. And basically right here, we can click add to import list and it's going to add to import list. Boom, product added to your import list. So just like that, we pulled the product from AliExpress and it's now gonna be on our My Product section with the rest of the products we added, as you can see, boom, right there. But with that being said, you guys, that's an overview of the Find Product section. Now let's move to My Products. So once you're in My Products, you can see all the different products that you essentially just added to that list from the Find Product section or imported from AliExpress. Now that you're on the My Product section, you're actually gonna kind of decide which ones you wanna put on your store. So say this product is the product you wanna put on your store. You're gonna click Review and Publish. You're gonna be able to go through all here and edit the variants, the images, the description, the products, right? The price, the product details, I should say. So the product name, product type, collection, if you're doing product types or collections, descriptions, variants, and images. You can sort through all that here, or you could do it once the product's in Shopify, up to you how you do it. I like to sometimes just do the name and everything right in here, publish it to store, and then do the rest once I'm in Shopify. I also, a lot of times, take custom content for my products, so I usually remove a lot of the supplier images if they're not that great. These ones are pretty good though, so I might keep them in this case, but kinda up to you what you do here, because you can do the same stuff inside of Shopify, but really nice that Zendrop allows you to do it before you import the product as well. Once you're ready to import the product to your store, all you do is click publish to my store. As soon as you do this, you click confirm and boom, it publishes to your store. So basically it's publishing right now. And this is the one we imported from AliExpress. Now, if we go to another one that was from the Zendrop catalog, as you can see, we can do the same stuff. If we wanna put it on our store, publish to our store, boom, right? Just like that. And that gets published as well. Now we can see it's linked. So we go on our store and we could see the product is actually inside of our store now, which is really, really cool. If we wanna actually preview this page so we can see the product, boom, right there, it's already on our store. Obviously, this is a test store, but that's how easy it is to import a product and get a product actually live on a Shopify store. This is live to where people could buy this as soon as we remove the password from our store, which is really cool, but super, super simple. That's the My Product section and really what you can do in there. You could also see not only your import list, but what products are imported to your store like the two that we just did. And you could also see if there's any issues at all with your products, which is super cool. Another thing I like about Zendrop is how they have these tutorials everywhere to help you out when you're learning how to use this. So anytime you wanna watch these videos, make sure you do as well once you're logged in. After this video, maybe take some time to check those out. But moving on, you guys, you have the orders section. This is where you're gonna get all your orders pretty simple. You're going to get orders here and you're going to be able to view them and fulfill them here. You can turn on auto fulfillment right here, which I highly recommend. And when you turn on auto fulfillment, it's just going to fulfill all your orders. That's literally all you really need to do on this page is turn on that button and then move on. And your orders are going to get fulfilled as they come in, which is super, super sick. Next thing you guys is branding. This is one that I want to take a second and talk about because I find this super, super cool about Zendrop. So we're going to just turn this off for the sake of this video to begin with. But basically, this allows you to create a personalized thank you card for each of your customers directly through the Zendrop interface. So as we're in this section and creating a personalized thank you card, we actually have the option to use either their classic editor or a custom card that we wanna upload ourselves. So their classic editor is just gonna be, allow you basically to add a logo, add a title, message, your address, and your support email click save and then basically you can download right here where it says download a sample. You could download a sample and essentially see what that's gonna look like and decide if you want 
to have that card shipped out or if you wanna change the message, change the logo, whatever, right? So they give you a template to do so or you could use the custom section, which as you can see here, I already have a custom card uploaded. I would say you guys wanna make a custom one to your brand because it's super easy to do. If you guys just literally go to Canva. So all you're gonna do to make a custom thank you card is head over to canva.com. Once you do, you can just go thank you cards right inside of here. And you can see all these different thank you card options. As you can see, I just chose this template but there's tons of different templates you could choose from. You could customize everything you want to about this template, you know, the font color, whatever you want, but Canvas tutorials for another video, you guys. Basically, all you need to know is how to get to these templates, click a template, choose it, and then just customize it to your brand. You could say something like, thank you so much for your order. Use code X, Y, and Z for your, for your next order to receive there we go right so just like that you could put a code in there to get them to or encourage the customer to buy more whatever you want to do but basically once you're ready to actually put that on zendrop all you do is click download you're going to choose the page you just made that you want to download and then just click download and then basically if my computer would load you're just going to click the download button but as soon as you do you guys you're going to go back over here you're going to click on this box which won't show anything for you because you don't have anything uploaded yet and it's going to let you upload that photo right in there and then that's going to be your thank you card that gets sent out to every customer super 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 cool you guys i absolutely love this feature and what i love even more is how easy it is to set up you don't have to like send messages to some person or like get approved by anybody you could literally just put your thank you card in here turn branding on just like this boom and then it's done super super simple super easy if you have any questions obviously watch this video again let me know in the free discord which is inside my free course if you guys take a second to join my free drop shipping course in the description you guys will get access to a discord chat where you're able to talk to me directly so if you have any problems setting this up obviously let me know with anything in this video but this is definitely something that's really simple. And you guys could also always go here and ask their support if you need anything at all, which is really cool. But as we're moving on from branding, we have bundles and boxes. I'm not gonna go too deep into this. This basically allows you to do bundles and boxes. I don't talk too much about that on this channel because we primarily focus on selling TikTok viral products that are more you know, viral one product stores or really niche stores, not necessarily the bundle subscription method, but it is a really, really viable method of doing business and something I've done in the past. The next thing is subscription boxes. So you're able to do a monthly reoccurring revenue model if you want to, something like say the dollar shave club they ship out razors every single month really cool ideas and really cool ways to utilize this i did in the past before with brands that i've ran and something that i definitely recommend you check out if you guys want me to make a series on like bundles and sort of stuff like that i definitely will let me know in the comment section next thing is aliexpress import obviously we already covered over that trending product section this is super cool you can see all different trending products on the zendrop catalog right in here which is super super cool thing about this is Zendrop is literally a supplier. So if anybody knows what products are selling or working or, you know, doing really well, it's going to be the actual supplier because they see what products are literally selling off of their warehouse or through their supply chain. So having access to this is basically like having access to a gold mine of products that could potentially do super, super well for you. Thing I like about this too, is there's a lot of products that are TikTok viral and would kill it or are currently killing it with organic on here all the time. So it tells me the method that they're using to find products for this is a very viable one. But above everything, you guys, Zendrop is all in all an insane platform that we now have access to as drop shippers. And if you're not taking advantage of it or at least trying it out, or if you haven't ever tried it out, or you have in the past but haven't in the future years you guys make sure you check out zendrop especially with the deal that they gave me to give to you guys the link is in the description click that link it's going to explain to you everything that you're going to get by using my link that you wouldn't get if you don't use it on that page which is a ton of value and want to let you know that i'm going to be bringing a ton of more value on this channel in the upcoming days slash weeks slash months and hopefully years and years and years to come so with that being said if you haven't already smash that subscribe button like this video let me know in the comments what video you want to see next and other than that you guys let's make it happen my name is jeremy ray and i'll see you guys in the next one